Hey guys, what's up? Just gonna do a quick video today on how to get the most you can get out of this motor longevity wise. So, and the things you will need is some Magnum Force 2. This is just a specially formulated motor cleaner by Dynamite. Uh, it goes for about like 8 bucks and it comes in a 13 ounce can. You have a good 20 plus cleans with this can, I would think. Uh, it's developed for RC models, so it dries with no residue. That's, what, that's the main thing about it. And then the other thing you'll need is heavy duty grease. One that is like for high temperature and high speed bearings, because you're going to be putting these on the end of the bearings. And electrical tape. So I'm going to give you an overview of what I want to do and then I'm going to pause the video or stop recording and I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you what it should look like. So this is just a 3500 KV one yon motor. I'm going to take it apart, uh, completely apart, and then I'm going to clean out with the Magnum Force 2 motor cleaner. And then once I get it kind of back together, I'm going to put grease right along here and then back here on the end bell and then take the electrical tape and I'm going to seal it up. So, I actually already did this to one motor. And it's mainly just for like the sand, I guess. That's what I would use it for. I wouldn't do this to like an everyday motor. I would put grease on it, but not the tape. This is just to make sure nothing can get inside the motor. Like, if you're running in water, I would really suggest doing this. Just so it, the bearings don't deteriorate over time, I guess. But, I'm gonna show you what that should look like. So after you got your motor all apart, you should just have the end bell and the the rotor itself with a little bushing at the end. Um, yes, I do know that this motor is really messed up. That was because I had a bearing go out. But on the edge, right where my finger is, the coils are actually starting to come out a little bit. So it's nothing, it's just, I think it's just like one coil that's kind of out. Anyways, you guys get the point, but this motor is a motor I would run in the sand, mud, water, etc. So that's why I'm just trying to get the most out of it, I guess, the, the trying to make it last long. And so after you get it all... After you get it all taken apart, and you just want to take your motor cleaner and just spray everything. Make sure it's all clean and, and then I'm gonna rotate it a little bit. Just spray it down, you know, nothing too fancy. That back into there. I can go inside the motor. that get it all clean stuff and then I'm gonna put the motor semi sorta back together then I'm gonna show you what the next step is gonna be so after you get your motor all cleaned out just I uh, just put the end bell back on with no screws or anything so um, you want to take your grease just get a little bit of it, just a tiny bit on your finger, just like that. And then you're just going to want to go around the rotor and make sure that it's just 100% filled. Because we're going to pack these bearings right full so they can keep themselves cool when it's rotating. And so nothing else can get in there like sand or anything. So after you do that, you just want to come back with a paper towel. That is right here. You just want to come back with the paper towel and just wipe along the wipe along the rotor. Just so 
so it should just be like that filled full of grease right here and then after you do that you just want to take a tiny piece of electrical tape just it's like that nothing and then whatever two holes you don't use go to the opposite of them and then stick the rotor or stick the tape through the rotor just so it's a little tiny hole and then stick it down just like that so you just want to make sure it's completely flush along the bearing just press it down and it makes sure that the end of the motor is all the way wiped off full of grease because if there's grease on it, the tape won't stick and it'll come off. So since we have a little bit, like right here and a little bit up here, I'm just going to set the camera down and take my X-Acto knife and just cut it. Make it look all clean. So now that I've cut it off and stuck it down really good, I'm just going to go back to the back side and just do the same thing. And then screw it all back together and it'll all be the end of the video. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time.